Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're gonna do weekend energy. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the big blue house. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the big blue house. All right, weekend energy. Okay. It's filthy. Just looking at it. Maybe a house needs to be cleaned. <laughs> Clean the house. Spend some time in the yard. Do some yard work. Do something. Clean out your closet. I don't know. I don't know. Send some message for somebody. Or maybe you just need to relax. Ooh, the stack's like, wake me up before you go, go. Okay. Five of Pence. It's also the Hierophant. Hierophant. Um, where's my pendulum? Just the, okay. You could be dealing with the Taurus. You could be dealing with something with the Virgo. Well, I don't know why I said Virgo. It's Taurus. So some of you are most definitely dealing with the Virgo. Um, I, I think it's more or less Venus fifth house. But could be dealing with someone who's married. This could be spirit. <clears throat> deciding. You know, I, I saw the two of wands, so deciding, you know, the two of wands to me sometimes too. Standing next to the Hierophant. Something just happened to my voice. Like my accent got thick. And that usually happens when something's about to start. I don't... So... Now we got the Two of Cups, but it's also temperance, right? Balancing out. It, it's And you had the other two that I saw it too. So this is a connection. Given, right? Maybe you have a connection that's starting... All right, now you got the, the King of Wands, all right? Uh, sorry, the King of Swords. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, too, or an Aries, even though this is an Aquarian card. But this is a serious conversation. Or this person's waiting to talk, or somebody's waiting for somebody else to talk. But this is the same energy. Thinking about a connection. So this is either you thinking about somebody, somebody thinking about you, a connection. You could be moving in with somebody. You could be discussing a topic like that, considering I see the keys. Um, I got the Ace of Cups. Okay. So the Hierophant's in love. Going to the chapel and we gonna get married. Going to the chapel and we gonna get married. Oh, somebody, right? All right, Luz, enough with the pause. So, Goose, thank you. Thank you, sweetie pie. Sugar pie, honey pie. So, if someone's in love... Or someone wants to offer their cup. Or somebody's not talking about emotions. It's one or the other. Like, this is a talker. Right? The Hierophant's a talker. The king of Aquarius, I was going to say, <laughs> is a talker. This is communication, spirit, right? But, like, with all this emotion and, like, <sighs> this would not be somebody who talks about emotions. If I'm going to categorize and pinpoint on zodiacs aquarians guys they talk they love to talk the intellectual right they're, they're talkers but they're not carefree with emotion there's a difference hope i didn't offend anybody i love you all i love you all you you just you you speak from your mind right you of course you speak from your soul but when you guys speak from your soul if you're an Aquarian sun, if you speak from your soul, you're speaking from another zodiac. Because 
An Aquarian sun speaks mentally through their mind, not emotionally. Like I'm a Cancerian. I feel. I want. I feel. This is how I feel. I feel this way because of this. I, I'm, I'm feeling like this because of that. An Aquarian does not think like a Cancerian. So please don't get insulted. But this Hierophant could already be in a connection but is now in love. Tricky. Tricky. Not really, right? That one just has to make up their mind if you ask me. I mean, th he should be clear. So someone should be clear. But something's not being said. And now you got the Eight of Hearts, which is the Eight of Cups. All right? So somebody does need to walk away from a connection. So there's that. Someone needs to walk towards their happiness. Or, or somebody wants to talk about it, but not talking about it. A lot of emotions. A lot of emotions flowing. I got sunshine on a rainy day. When it's cold outside. And I think it's a cloudy day. I got the month of May. What makes you say? What can make me feel this way? My girl. My girl. Talk about my girl. My girl. So... Ace of Pence. So somebody wants to give somebody time. Somebody wants a new opportunity. This could be a test. Someone could be testing their own mental capability right now. Someone's like, um, should I put some emotion into it? Because they already have an emotional connection that they need to walk away from. So that needs to be discussed if this is a third party. Because somebody wants to give time to someone else. Someone wants to give a new opportunity to someone else. If you are a woman, because I'm reading gender, if you are a woman, you're dealing with two men. If you are a man, you're dealing with two women, vice versa. Or you're just dealing with one person, but then this person's dealing with another person. That makes sense. So, I did not, I'm not going to lie to you, I did not expect this energy I expected more balance, grounding. I, I just, I expected a different energy, so this is strange. Tell me about the Hierophant. So, I feel like the Hierophant's being tested. Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? Like, that's... Do you love me now that I found yada 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 dirty dancing? Right, we all know that one. So it's the Ace of Swords. So the Hierophant needs to talk. The Hierophant needs to be clear about how they feel. If that's not happening, that's what should be happening this weekend. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Well, actually, tell me about the Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. So we got three Aces on the board. So that's a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of opportunities. A whole bunch and a whole bunch. You got the emperor. So it looks like the emperor is already in a relationship. But the emperor got feelings. The emperor loves someone. Tell me about the two of cups. But I don't know if this one's talking and expressing the way they should be. That's the feeling I'm picking up on. Then we got the wheel of fortune. So something is going to go down with this connection. It's just the way it's got to be. If someone needs to walk away. From someone. Because somebody fell in love with someone else. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Now, stuff doesn't happen overnight, right? But something needs to be brought up or something's being brought up. Or something's going to go in somebody's direction. There's that balance that I was feeling. There needs to be change. The emperor needs to change the situation. The emperor needs to talk about their emotions. The emperor needs to walk away from a connection. The emperor needs to speak. If they want the time... They need to talk about it. Tell me about the King of Swords. Now, if there's not a third party here, it's take the third party out of the equation. It's just one person. But the mental and emotional aspect of things need to be balanced. Tell me about the King of Swords. I want this one, too. So we got the King of Cups. So you could be done with the Pisces Aquarius. Or a Taurus, and you got the Two of Swords. So this is restoring peace. So somebody needs to restore peace. And I don't even see an argument. So if you ask me, 
someone's not talking about their emotions. Someone's not telling someone exactly how they feel. They're not being truthful. They're not, they're not saying what needs to be said. And if they're in a third party situation, something's going to go down. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Because someone wants to restore peace. Someone's in love. King of Cups, in love. But somebody's way too mental. Because this is the King of Swords. Way too mental. Not enough emotion. Boom. There you go. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cup and season's coming. You got the five of wands. So somebody wants to give someone a new stat or somebody's in love, but they're all up in the head. Mentally all up in the head because they're not expressing. This weekend calls for extreme balance. You need to balance your emotional and your mental aspect of whatever this connection is. If it needs to be talked about, talk about it. The emperor might have a hard time talking about it, but someone's in love. It looks like this person wants to restore peace. This person wants harmony. But you're dealing with somebody who does not talk about their emotions. They may be like, ah, oh, that feels good, or ooh, I had fun. But they're not, there's no vulnerability. <clears throat> Before you know it, something could be sabotaged here. And I don't see a partner on the board. So that's telling me that the other energy, good chance, pushing away. Because with this type of connection, somebody would feel it. The other one's feeling it. You're not talking about it. You're, you're more or less talking about it amongst yourself for this masculine energy. That's the deal what's going on there. Do I want the new stat? Do I, do I not? But you know you need to walk away from somebody because it looks like a third party scenario if you ask me. There's, there's got to be change. All these twos. Okay. So with this being said, oh, look at that at the bottom of the deck, two of cups. So we have two, two, two here. That's all about partnerships, balance, but there's no feminine in this energy. So let me pull on the feminine real quick. I didn't plan on doing that. I didn't plan on doing that, but I got to do something with this energy. Can you tell? Can you tell? And I didn't even have a beer with lunch. <laughs> I'm kind of like in a food coma right now. That connection, that could be the feminine walking away. Someone, this person, that masculine, because that, that looked like masculine energy if you ask me. Um... <clears throat> Trying to figure stuff out, but not talking about it. So that's, that's the deal with the feminine energy that's linked, that's linked to that masculine. Okay. So, Ace of Swords. Not the Ace of Swords. The Page of Swords. She's being watched. Or she's watching. No, she's being watched. So it looks like if we if this is a continuation, the Hierophant's watching her. Okay, that's definitely a thing. That's what's happening. But here's the deal: I I want the damn woman's energy. All right, what's going on with the feminine energy? It, you must know you're getting watched, but she's she's got playing cards in her hands, right? So it's like it's almost like playing chess. Like, checkmate, it's like you're matching each other. So what's happening, it's almost like the yin and the yang in this depiction. It's like they're watching, you know they're watching, you met your match. There might be a couple different matches, or trying to figure out, someone's trying to figure something out. I don't, I don't think anyone's trying to call it a truce with that flag, but feminine energy, please. She's like the wind. Oh, I'm looking at the hair. So there's, there's love. But does this person show love? I don't know. Looks like the masculine has some type of blockage. And then we have the Ace of Swords. So this is communication coming at you. So like I said, it's almost like not what goes around come around, but like I'm giving you a taste of your own medicine. And it's almost like the feminine is is giving the masculine a taste of their own medicine. Not like you're playing a manipulating game, but 
if this masculine is being all mental with you, you're basically checkmate in this, the, the Hierophant. You guys are in a, a, a chess match right now. Well, you're waiting for that communication. It looks like it'd be coming. But if you're waiting, you're, you're mirroring your match is what you're doing. This sounds so familiar. This is like my energy like a year and a half ago when I started this channel. Like doing stupid shit like that. Not necessarily that it's stupid. Okay, that was a bad choice of words. With what I was doing a year and a half ago, it was stupid because I was doing it to play games. I don't feel anyone playing games like that. What I'm feeling is there's a test. Either they're testing themselves or you're testing yourself. I don't think you're testing someone else. But it feels that way because of the connection. You're playing chess is what you're doing. You're definitely giving somebody a taste of their own medicine. It's clear as day. Like, yeah, you're on the same playing field. Ace of Cups. Okay, so it's like another ace. They had three. Now there's two. She's in love, too. Yeah, the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck there. That's too many. What's up with the feminine energy? Or, see what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like she's playing the same game. But it's not a game. But see what I'm saying? Taste of their own medicine. Because they have the same cards, too. So this one's no fool. The other one's not a fool. But I don't think the other one's picking up on something. Oh, you love me? How much do you love me? It's not a contest. But there's, there's not any mental balance here. So what goes around comes around. Someone is most definitely, it looks like the feminine is giving somebody the taste of their own medicine. It's almost like, I don't know if it's going to be a hard pill to swallow or if it's going to go down the right way. Because it does look like a conversation, it does look like that person wants to have a conversation. The opposite energy. Okay, so now you have the jack of wands. All right, the jack of wands. Well, yeah, the jack of clubs. I mean, yeah. But this is wands. This is the page of wands. So somebody is ready for an adventure. It's, it's like the both of you are. So until you can balance this, and I think what's happening is the feminine's giving someone a taste of their own medicine. Like everybody's in the same boardroom waiting for people to figure it out. Tell me about, and you got two jacks and two aces. Huh. Huh. Someone might be gambling this weekend. But tell me about the Page of Swords, please. Okay. You got the Knight of Swords. So you are going to get a message. Or you're going to deliver a message. It's going to be clear cut, clear cut, no bullshit with the Five of Wands. So now the two of you are now in this game. Although I'm not really calling it a game. It's a test. It's more of a test. But it's almost like it's causing the masculine stress, strife, stress. It's almost like the masculine's like, why can't you just tell me? But the feminine's like, why can't you just figure it out? <laughs> it's a fucking riot. This is why I feel like it's a game, but it's not. It's, it's, it's not being done in a manipulative way. It's, it's an eye for an eye because you guys match each other. All right, so it's like, why? It is, it's literally, it's like the masculine eventually is going to come right at you. And if they don't, I think they will, but if they don't, you're driving them nuts. So if, if that's what you were kind of trying to do, it's, it's working. I, I don't know if that's what you were necessarily trying to do, okay? Because to me, it's their energy, and they're going to be like, they're going to come at you and be like, WTF. Ace of Swords, please. It's kind of funny. When it's cold outside. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? There's that tool pencil. There's that balance. Right? So you both want the same thing. The feminine wants it. He wants it. But I don't think he's figuring it out. Because it's causing him strife. But all she wants is love. All she wants is just communicate the damn love. So we can go on a damn adventure. What's the deal? I want harmony. I want synergy. This is what you want. Figure it out. 
somebody is learning a huge Sagittarian lesson and somebody, the other one's skating free because they've already learned certain things. So tell me about the Ace of Cups. So this does speak about harmonious change, but to me, she's waiting to go on the, to this adventure. She's waiting to go on to this adventure. She's waiting for the emotion. She's waiting for him to say something. Ace of Cups. Something's in a folder. I don't know if it's an email, a text message, something. It's almost like there's something. Sure, the key's in the car. No. Oh, no, it's not. Here you go. Love you. Okay. So we have the Six of Swords. See, that's that Sagittarian lesson I was just telling you about. Like, she's... So it's her energy. So she's already... She's already learned this lesson. It's it's almost his. And she knows how to do it. But not necessarily in a manipulating way. See what I'm saying? It's just like... She's no joke, too, being the Princess of Swords. She's... She's mental. She's not icy. Right? She's she's not being ice cold. She, you could be icing someone out. But... Not like goodbye. It's it's figure it out. Like because she, it's almost like she knows. I, I she's like I don't need to say anything. There's love. There's this. I I've already spoken my piece or something, right? So it's like what goes around comes around. It's she's waiting for the wheel to turn. You want something? Talk about it. You need something? Come to me. You want something? Same thing, right? So she's done talking about it. She now wants action. She's learned her Sagittarian lesson. When, when Saturn goes direct, looks like the feminine, she's good. Lessons learned. It's, it's more him. He needs to figure it out. She's learned a lesson. She, she knows what unconditional love is. She knows what she deserves. She knows how something can be successful. And she's waiting to go on a damn adventure with her match. Once again. But she's she's not going to talk about it anymore. <clears throat> Tell me about the page at once. The magician. See, she knows. She knows she can create. She's the high priestess. She's very intuitive, too. She's just waiting for that message. So it looks like she might be isolating herself too. She could want to walk away too because she's not She's not going to repeat this. She's done that wheel. She's not repeating it. And if she walks away, she's, she's going right towards satisfaction, gratitude. She's going towards earned success because she's completed a lesson. So she's either going to get the message or she's not. Or it's going to be delivered or... See what I'm... It's something like that. But she's ready for this journey. To me, the Eight of Wands, ext an extreme journey. And you got the magician, right? You got every tool in the damn shed. She knows. She knows. And she's ready for the adventure. And if somebody tags along, great. If not, great. She met a match. Aces. She's already communicated something about her emotions. He has not. She's going on the journey with or without him. Boom. So there's that. I'm so sassy. I'm so sassy today. So I'm going to pull you a moon card. <clears throat> I'm going to pull Well, actually, it's not the moon card. It's my oracles. My wisdom, the house of the night. So let's pull an oracle for the masculine. And then let's pull one for the feminine. And I'm saying pour instead of pull. So somebody needs to pour. And I don't even know who this is for. Because it just came out. Son of a bitch. Let me ask my pendulum. Because the way it flipped out is, is definitely... Um, is for one of you. I'm going to guess the masculine. Because I did the masculine first. But hold on. It's for the feminine, and it's a five. So you got change, and that's what you're trying to do. So that's a good thing. So you got the moon. This is a sign that you must trust your cut, your instincts, and your intuition will lead you through the darkness. So it's almost like you're going through the post-shadow 
of Saturn going direct. I think that's within next four or five days, Saturn goes direct. But there's a post shadow. And you got this huge full moon tomorrow. And happy Friday the 13th, okay? Talk about superstition with a freaking black cat. But <clears throat> this is you, and you had the high priestess too. So listen to this, okay? When you choose the symbol of the moon as you got, as your guide, you know it's necessary to look behind the obvious and get to the truth of things. Sometimes, because it's obvious, right? So, so you want the truth of the thing. So sometimes people will say one thing, but you got a weird feeling it means another. You have the power. You are being asked to use it now. Choose another card for a deeper look at what's going on behind the scenes. So this might be regarding the masculine or just in, in general, okay? So, that's way too many. Tell me about the moon for the feminine, please. The moon for the feminine. Hope, and that's what actually fell out. I'm not going to lie to you. So, it says, when you choose the symbol of hope, know that no matter what is happening right now, even if you feel like it's a setback, it's temporary, the light will shine again. All right, and it says, when the moon is hidden, <laughs> when the moon is hidden in the darkest forest, it's hard to see your next step, but it's easy for you to give in to fear that you'll never see that light go on again. I am here to guide you when you feel lost, whispering you to maintain faith that all good things will come your way. Take one step towards your dream, and I will take another so you can achieve it. Have hope, and only good will come from it. And here's the deal. I feel like this is already your energy anyway. There might be a, something emotional just because of the moon, but you already have this hope. You've already had a conversation with this person. You already know someone's a match. You already got love. It's obvious. It's the communication. Right? So, to me, if you're down, have hope. It's it's because of the moon. You're, you're fine. Regardless, like I said, with or without, you're going on this journey. And they're guaranteeing that journey anyway. They're, they're, you just keep going towards your steps is what they're saying. And they're going to help you achieve it. So, no stress. No stress. Okay, now let's get the masculine energy. Masculine, please. Masculine, please. And not to mention that the first initial read, even though it was masculine, okay, um, this just flipped, even though in the warriors at the bottom of the deck, it is, it's kind of like you're all, you're all kind of meshing. So you got the high priestess of air. So it says, you're drawn to this symbol of the vampire, the high priestess of air, the goddess of irrational thought. Logical thinking and reason is what you're doing, how you're using your mind right now to take the next action with these qualities. Now is the time to think about before you act. You are blessed with a wondrous mind and imagination. Your ability to communicate is enhanced when you meet the high priestess of air. This is the moment to have a reasonable conversation to make calculated decision. And she was coming in as the high priestess. So they're basically saying now is the time you have something blessed right in front of you. You have a, a wonderful imagination. You're holding on to something, all right? You have the ability to communicate when you're met with the high priestess of air. So now is your time to take the moment to have a reasonable conversation and make the right decisions, okay? You're all up in that energy too. So, and then you have the warrior at the bottom, which is a two. I'm just going to read it to you. Well, let me ask because I didn't read whether it was at the bottom of the deck for the feminine. Should I read the Nope, that's it. Okay? That's a wrap. That's your weekend energy. Somebody met their match. It's not a bad thing. It's just action. And you know it. You know it. I love you guys so much. See you later, Gators. Bye.